Okay. So, uh, today we are going to make the white gravy or the kurma gravy or the shahi gravy. There's so many names for that, Anita. Um, so, and, so, this is basically just white gravy which is very rich. So, as you can see, is that like, um, a korma? Like, like a korma base. Yeah. Uh, and you can add some, uh, you can make it into different. Korma itself is a different. Uh, it's a base, but there are so many different kormas there, right? So, but uh, if you're going to make shahi, which is white, white um, uh, based gravy, and it comes from a very, not, not, a, no, I think it's more, the, 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 the origin of it, it goes really from long back, and it comes from a different mm -hmm. regions as well, but it's more from North India. To be cut it short, white gravy is a basic korma gravy, and the ratio is just onion, cashew nut, and uh, yogurt, cream, butter to make it nice and very rich. Creamy yeah, very creamy, sauce. rich one. So I got this onion. So how much is onion? Two fifty grams of 250 onion. Grams, yeah. So I make quick. So this one, finally I'm doing some shopping back. You should so, have needed to do that. Would have taken about three hours. <laughs> so I got the onion here. Okay. So quick, quick, fine chop. Finely, finely chop as possible. So it goes on uh, easy to cook and quick to cook. So it's going to be really white, white. So we just use green cardamom as you can see in the mm -hmm. recipe. So just green cardamom. I got all the spices here, but we're going to use only green cardamom. Um, it's more uh, cardamom flavored. So we, there's no garam masala, there's nothing much there, mm -hmm. but more cardamom spice on this one, okay? So I'm about 250 grams of onion, so about 190 is about 200 grams, I think, roughly. So I got some extra here as well. So we're going to put this onion together, saute the onion, ginger garlic mm -hmm. with, with this cardamom and yep. bay leaf, okay? And then we finish up with some cashew nut. Once it all comes together, we grind it, and then we add the cream and butter and yogurt and to make it nice and enriched. Yep. <laughs> I got so guys got the oil in, okay? I got the oil in, and uh, this one is a white gravy, so we don't need too much spice. It's more cardamom, uh, intense cardamom flavored spice. So I've got some cardamom, okay. Uh, the oil starting smoke, so I put the cardamom and some bay leaf, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put some uh, butter and make it up. And I got the onion, 250 grams of onion. The onion goes in. Okay. Okay. So onion, chopping onion, and uh, with this dish, you know, we don't want golden brown. We don't want any brown at all. You want to just sweat the onion. Okay. So it's very important that you remember that. Uh, we just want. We just want to sweat the onion. You want to sweat the onion. I soaked up the cashew nut. And it's sort of a nice and soft. Um, it's really easy, soft. And it's, uh, when, you, when it's soft, it becomes more creamier than crunchy stuff. So we're gonna add some cashew to this. Okay. So I just put the onion, full spice, just caramel and belly. And uh, there we go. Some cashew. Ginger garlic. Try to keep the ginger garlic as white as possible. That means you don't put ginger skin while you're grinding the paste because the color change. I sort of put everything together. Oh, that's a flow away. And we're not adding any other garam masala, nothing from here because the cardamom itself is good. I found some cardamom powder. So I'm going to put some salt um, and, uh, and then I'm going to add some uh, teaspoon of uh, flat spoon of cardamom powder. You finish up this uh, thing, uh, the, the white gravy, the thing, white gravy. Oh, you can see the smell coming up. Sorry about that. And then I put it on slow fire and then let it sweat for a while. So I put slow fire, I put a lid and I let it sweat for a while. And when it's finished, I'm gonna add some cream, butter, and then blitz it together. And I, normally I add some white yogurt, uh, hung yogurt. I have some hung yogurt, which is uh, basically you take the yogurt, put it through the uh, chocks, and then hang it up overnight a couple hours in the um, over a strainer and then it becomes like a nice soft yogurt like this and you can finish what up sort of yogurt product. to start with um any any so any uh, yogurt you just, know, you just hang it Greek out. yogurt whatever uh, you bought from Greek the Greek yogurt is a bit shop. sweeter but I normally get it from Indian store okay. but Greek yogurt is also nice nice and thick yogurt and it becomes nice and creamy yogurt mm. and you can finish up with a 
Kurma, so it's become a kurma, it's become a gravy, white, shahi, paneer, whatever they want to call it. Yeah. Guys, I'm, I'll come back, I'm uh, finishing up this white gravy now. So white gravy, you know, as you see, the onion, cardamom, and a little bit of bay leaf. Uh, and I added a little bit of water to just make it moist because I wanted that to cook. And then add the cream and finish up because I don't want to add the cream before. Um, so there is a possibility it can get split. The split. And so now I'm adding the cream. I don't know about, um, but see, this is a... Uh, this is the four, 600, so about 200 mils of cream. Uh, 200 mils of cream. So 200 mils of cream. I add some 200, creams, 200 mils of cream and finish up this sauce. And so now I'm going to blitz it into a nice uh, curry and that way it gets ready to go. And then that's going to be another base gravy as well. So that's white gravy or other base gravy. Okay. Okay. Alright guys, now the white gravy white gravy that we did a little bit, uh, now it's ready to go. Uh, it's been sitting down in the fire for about 25-30 minutes now. Uh, I added a little bit of water and I, I cooked it up. The onion was cooked and I added a little bit of uh, the 200 ml of cream for 250 grams of onion. And now I'm just going to blitz everything so the cardamom, baby, onion. This is your kurma base, right? Okay, cool. So th this is the uh, white base, right? So we don't make too much of this in the restaurant. We make a, about, uh, this is the lowest quantity that we make because it's always a touch of this that finish up the kurma. So, for example, if you want to make a chicken kurma, so I put the yellow gravy, three parts, one part of white gravy, and then that's one kind of a chicken kurma. But if I want to make a chicken shahi kurma, then I put three parts of this and one part of the yellow gravy, and that becomes a good chicken shahi kurma. Or if you just want to make a chicken, like white safed kurma, or, uh, you know, a safed means white, and if you want to make a white chicken kurma, so basically you add some more cream or chicken stock, and then make that into a curry as well. So that's the white curry base. So we did red curry, brown curry, white curry, and yellow curry. So four basic curries that we've done, and so many variations can be done. See you soon.